I'm Tamira, I'm an actress and a singer, and I got a story to tell. SK Creative Studio presents Story to Tell. All right, so this is a story from 2009, back in my ATL days. I moved out there when I was probably like eight years old, you know, since it was 2009, but I was a kid and, you know, my friends adopted me. I lived it like an adult though, so I just got a, you know, weird thing going on with my body. But anyways, so I was staying with two friends out there at Clark Atlanta. Um, they were actually college students and I was just broke and unemployed stand on the couch but anyways I went there so I can try to change my life you know we were just really broke struggling stuff like that and you know we were trying to get some food so my roommate I'm gonna just call her L because I don't know if she's gonna be mad or not if I told this story so my friend L was like oh my god like we're this guy keeps asking me to go out like so um, I'm just gonna finally go out with them, you know what I'm saying? But I don't wanna go by myself, you wanna go, and then maybe you can get some free food, and you know me, I'm like, shoot. I'm down, cause I love eating, I love food. So um, she ended up calling him and saying that she would go, and he said he'll bring a friend, and then before you know it, she invited her other friend that stayed with us too, or whatever, her name, Nay, we'll just say her name is Nay. Um, so it was three girls, two guys. I don't even know if I was like the, date for the other guy or nay was but somebody was the fifth wheel i'm gonna just say i was the fifth wheel because that's just it we get picked up i don't really remember the whole car ride but when we get to the place we thinking it's like this nice little club hookah bar whatever it was a hookah bar but it was an ethiopian hookah bar so you know we go in there and you know we, we i was trying not to look like the fuck is this shit you know what i'm saying but of course they did the two girls like yeah what the fuck is this shit and i'm just like great you know great club guys and so we sit down and then they asked the number one question i wanted to hear hey are you hungry i was like you know what yes i am actually so i ordered some things and i'm just in there smashing you know what i'm saying so the two guys you know they trying to talk to us and you know get to know us or whatever then um they were playing ethiopian music and i'm just trying to like get in tune with it like all right you know and they doing like some kind of i don't even know like what kind of dances they was doing but it was cool but i i just couldn't get down with it. i think that i just would have felt weird you know what i'm saying but anyways it was just culture shock in the meantime i'm the only girl talking to them so i'm over here like yeah this food is good you know music's great l and a in the corner taking pictures Ah, uh, I look so good, you know, whatever. And so, after we eat, we getting ready to go. I'm thinking like, just talk to them a little bit. Like, I'm starting to feel bad for the guys. Like, you know, like, say something. You're on the date with them, not me. So, we're leaving. We get in the car and we're driving. The guys, I hear them talking, you know, while they're in the front. Cause they're, they're sitting in the front seat, the both of them, they're sitting in the front. I'm sitting in the back with the girls and you know, they're just on their phone. It's complete silence in the car. Like nobody's talking and I'm like, all right. You know, so the guys are in the front talking. I hear them talking about us or whatever. So I'm like, I just want you guys to know that I had a good time. Like, you know, I had a great time. You know, this was different. You know, I, it was nice. <clears throat> and he says, I know you had a good time. So he asked the girls, he like, but I'm just asking, did they have a good time? You would think that somebody would have just said, yeah, I did. No, they didn't, okay? So, L is just like, I mean, that's how L talks, she's gonna kill me. But anyway, she's like, I mean, I, I, just say yes, like what the hell? Like, so, Nay, like, you missing the wrong turn. You, you, you going the wrong way. I'm like, oh my God. So I heard them say something like, I'm about to kick these girls out the car. I'm like, oh. Say something, we about to get kicked out the car, man, it's about to be so embarrassing. They just didn't understand what I was trying to hint to them. So I'm just like, all right, I had a good time. I just want y'all to know that. And he like, I know you had a good time, but I'm asking these bitches if they had a good time. She like, I, who you calling a bitch? Like, I'm not no bitch, you know? And, da -da 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 -da. and I'm just like, we about to get kicked the fuck out this car. It's about to be so embarrassing. So. They pull up to Hardy's. I remember the restaurant. And he said, you know what, Matt Fat? Get the fuck out! I'm like, oh my God. 
I do not want to get out this car right now. And they're like, what? You kicking us out the car? So we get out the car and they just like, yeah, walk home. You know, just dogging us. I'm like, oh, I really had a good time, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, oh my gosh. So, so we get in there. I'm like, how we get home? Because we can't call Uber. Because guess what? Uber doesn't exist yet. So nobody trying to get no taxi because that just costs too much. So L walks up to somebody and was just like, can you take us home? And they took us home. It was a guy. He was real cool, whatever. He took us home. And when we get there, we was just on edge. Cause I don't know if they did something where, uh, I don't know, but something like that. But she was just like, we were scared all night. Cause we thought like they were going to come back and do something to us because basically they got used for some food and hookah or whatever, but they never did. And we had a lot of crazy stories, but I think that was the number one crazy story. So moral of the story is, when you go on a date with someone, even if you don't know if you're gonna like them and you're just gonna get something to eat, get to know them so you don't get kicked out their damn car and you gotta ask a stranger to take you home. Or don't be a fifth date, I mean fifth wheel on somebody's date. If I was the fifth wheel or the whatever, but you know what I'm saying. That's the moral. I'm Tamira, I'm a singer slash actress, and that was my story to tell. Mm. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Stephen Pruitt, one of the creators of Story to Tell. If you want to do a story, hit us up at info at skcreativestudio.com. Once again, info at skcreativestudio.com. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We like it when you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, get more content from us. We got a lot of good stuff coming. And also, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you hit the thumbs down button, I will kick you in the private. I don't know if you are a man or a woman, but I will kick you somewhere where it will hurt. So make sure you click the thumbs up button. Other than that, I want you to have a good day. I want you to have a great day. That's it. Just cut the camera off, man. Just cut it off. I'm just going to keep going until you cut it off. I'm dead serious. Cut it off the camera.